I'm Dan Galpin for The Developer Show. This is your action-packed weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. Mark your calendars. Google I.O. kicks off with live streamed keynotes on May 14th at 10 a.m. Pacific time. We'll be sharing what's new in mobile, web, and multi-platform development, how to scale your applications in the cloud, and how to incorporate the latest AI features across over 100 sessions, workshops, code labs, and demos. We released Android 15 Developer Preview 2 with new features to improve your productivity while adding capabilities around media and AI experiences, device form factors, battery impact, smooth app performance, and user privacy and security. The preview extends platform support for satellite connectivity, supports smoother NFC experiences, substantially improves the PDF renderer APIs, adds cover screen support for flippables, screen record detection, application startup info, read-only SQLite transactions, support for loudest metadata, and much more. And you can get it now in the Android Studio emulator or on supported Pixel devices. We had a bunch of announcements over at the Google for Games Developer Summit. Google Play Games on PC is adding support for native PC game publishing. Google Play Pass is expanding to include in-game offers from popular games. We've made it easier for you to integrate Play Games services, including support for users without a profile. And more updates are coming. Store listing enhancements are in early access to more prominently display game updates, new content and promotions, including your latest YouTube videos, AI-generated FAQs, and more. And PlayPoints is offering the ability to set limited quantities for exclusive in-game offers. The Bazel IntelliJ plugin has gotten performance improvements, full Xcode toolchain support, support for plugin development on Windows, and lots more. The team also announced that the open source branching structure is diverging. We've added Gemini tuning to Google AI Studio and the Gemini API. It uses a technique called parameter efficient tuning to produce higher quality customized models with lower latency, without the cost and complexity of traditional fine tuning, with as little as a few hundred data points. Also, check out the second season of the Build with Google AI video series to teach you how to build helpful and practical applications with AI. Over in Google Cloud, we announced that Anthropic's Claude 3 Sonnet and Claude 3 Haiku models are generally available to all customers on Vertex AI, while Claude 3 Opus will be available on Vertex AI in the coming weeks. DataStream, Google Cloud's fully managed change data capture service, is including support for SQL Server sources on top of its existing support for MySQL, PostgreSQL, and Oracle sources, empowering you to replicate data to Google Cloud services, such as BigQuery, Cloud Storage, AlloyDB, and Spanner. You can now build and run SSRS reports with databases hosted on Cloud SQL for SQL Server. Go announced low overhead tracing, reducing the runtime overhead of tracing from 10 to 20% CPU down to 1 to 2% for many applications. Go also announced experiments around a flight recorder and a trace reader API. The contributor applications for Google Summer of Code 2024, now in its 20th year, are open. So if you're a student or a beginner in open source software development and 18 plus years old, we hope you will apply. The application period closes April 2nd at 1800 UTC. We released TensorFlow 2.16, which includes Clang as a default compiler for building TensorFlow CPU wheels on Windows, default support for Keras 3, support for Python 3.12, and much more. To learn more about all of this week's stories, make sure to check the description box below for all the links. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, stay safe. I'm Dan Galpin for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.